Why am I upside down and looking up at the camera? Because today we're going to talk about how to make videos like Minute Physics. And this is a perspective you're going to have to get used to. So Minute Physics videos are really two different things. They are a stop motion of drawing and they're a video essay. So we're going to talk about how to put those two elements together and how to get that media in the first place so you too can make awesome stop motion drawing video essays like Minute Physics. If you're doing physics though, you better have a physics background. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, good luck. So you're actually going to have to write out an essay, a coherent train of thought leading you to a conclusion, and then plan out the illustrations that are going to illustrate your points. And then you're going to need to record that audio. You just read the essay into a mic. So how do you do that? Well, this is the Blue Snowball Microphone. The Blue Snowball Microphone Ice, to be exact. It is around 50 bucks on Amazon, and it is great. This is your cheapest, best option for capturing good voice. So when you talk to the mic, make sure you're talking about a foot out from the mic, and make sure you're not using plosives or P kind of words directly into the mic, like that. Also, talk just maybe above the mic just a little bit, point it at your throat, and talk as if you're talking to someone on the other side of the room. You're also going to need a camera that has a remote or has the ability to take a time lapse or has the ability to take timed pictures. Minute physics uses a one second time lapse. This video will certainly set you up to do that. I'm going to suggest, however, manually taking pictures. This will give you more control as a beginner and simplify the editing process. Your exact method is up to you. It will look cool regardless. Because if you're having to press the camera button every time you take a picture, we'll talk about this more in a second, but if you have to do that, you're going to shake the camera every time and that's going to be a problem. So you're really just going to want something that you can take a picture of without shaking the camera every single time. Now, Minute Physics uses a softbox. That lets him get diffuse light all the way around his page without doing any direct glares on the page, and there's no shadows. You can do something similar without a softbox if you just take your lights and you point them at the ceiling. The ceiling will kind of create a fake softbox for you. Just be sure that you do that behind where you're drawing, not in front. Otherwise, you'll have weird tripod camera shadows on your page. They don't necessarily have to be video Video lights, but video lights would be very nice because more light is better. First, you're going to want to tape the corner of the page. You don't necessarily have to tape the paper down. That's up to you, but you do need some sort of a guideline to keep the paper in the same spot. And when you change papers to make sure the new paper is also in the same spot, these guidelines will really help you out and keep your animation from looking incredibly shaky. Now, manually set your camera settings, including the focus, because if your camera settings change from picture to picture to picture, you're going to have a lot of flashing and strange looks and blurs in the middle of your animation, and no one wants that. So there's a few different styles you could do. What Metaphysics does is goes ahead and draws the picture and leaves his hand in the frame when he's taking the pictures, which is why the camera's doing it automatically. What you can do is remove your hand from the frame for every single picture when you, and then take the picture manually if you don't want to capture your hand at all and make it look like it's just animating on its own. Or you can simply just take a picture when your hand is in the frame and not moving to see the hand draw the picture itself. I did a little bit of both in my animation to demonstrate what I'm doing there. So this video is using Movie Studios to create this, but you can do this in any editor. Movie Studios is just the consumer version of Vegas Pro, but both Vegas Pro and Movie Studios have the same layout and the same tools to do this. So first to record your audio, once you have your mic plugged in, go ahead and open up your Windows settings. In your Windows sound settings, you can go to recording and make sure that your Blue Snowball mic is the default device. And then when you select that, double click it, and you can actually go to the levels and set how loud the mic is. To record, go down to your audio track, select arm for record, okay? And then make sure your mic is working when you talk into it. If you constantly see a down there, that's called the ground floor. That means your mic is too loud. You need to have your mic at a volume that captures your voice when you're speaking, but not the room noise when you're not speaking. That's called minimizing the ground floor. Then, simply hit this microphone button right here and follow the rules we talked about, and you will have audio clips of your recordings that you can edit into a beautiful video essay. Quick note, when you're setting your audio levels, 
when you watch them back, see how they kind of are low right there? You can easily just up the volume to make it simply hit this microphone button right here louder what your goal is is between 6 and 12 that's kind of where you want your peaks to go if they're too high they're gonna be red and they're gonna be distorted if they're too low you're not gonna be able to hear it I have another tutorial all about that in fact I have tutorials more detailed tutorials about every step of this process that you can see in the description below to import the pictures make sure you can delete this picture and picture track just select video and go to insert slideshow and then you can actually import all of your pictures in from your camera once you've opened them and imported them into the software now you can actually go to settings the settings tab right here and hit start at to start at the beginning of your timeline and then you want your pictures to only be up for a fraction of a second at a time it's not necessarily 24 frames a second that's not what you're going for here but you do want to make sure that you turn your effect off because this is trying to make a slideshow where it does little effects in between it but what we're gonna do is just turn this time to zero that way no matter what uh, effect is selected it won't show up at all you can even hit use as defaults if you plan to do this again when you hit create it will put all these pictures on your timeline here and then you can hit this play from start to watch microphone button I'm gonna mute that track then you can hit play from start to watch it all together now you'll notice that these are going kind of slow that's okay because you can just hit control Z and then go back up to your slideshow settings and then decide what the appropriate length is for you. At 0.10 seconds, this is about minute physics pace. It seems for my project, it just depends on how many times you took the picture. So, now you'll notice a few things. Uh, it's upside down and mirrored. So to fix that, you just go to this hamburger menu right here and hit track motion. Make sure your sync cursor is turned off. Select the very first keyframe down here and then right click and hit flip horizontal right click and flip vertical and now you have your pictures the correct length you can also go to track effects and look for your levels effect levels just drag it down there to the track and you can actually brighten it up a little bit and darken it a little bit and increase the contrast make it make it look a bit more black and white and a bit less uh, like a faded piece of paper. That's up to you how much you want to correct your shot, but that's the best way to do it. So now you'll notice it keeps going. So maybe you want the animation to pause. You can arrow through to the one you want it to pause at. Select this auto ripple button, and that'll make sure that everything behind it moves when you move this track. Move it as long as you want. And now this picture is what it's frozen on. So when you watch it, it'll stay on this picture until it continues to move and you can just keep lengthening each picture you want it to freeze on while you're speaking when you have your video and essay and everything done go ahead and just highlight the whole top of the timeline encompassing your entire video if you want to add music or anything like that or struggling with learning the software I have tons of tutorials for you so check those out in the description below Go to project and then hit render as. What you want to do is go to render options and make sure render loop region only is selected and then go to your Magix ABC AAC MP4 that is an internet codec and you can render out at whatever resolution you feel like is the best most likely 1080p because uh, that should encompass most areas but if you're more certain of a different resolution then go ahead and try and get the resolution that closely matches your uh, camera's resolution and then there go ahead and you can name it whatever you want and save it wherever you want with this browse button and uh, then hit render and when you render it out it'll leave you with a video file that you can upload to YouTube hey thanks so much for watching this video I hope you've really uh, learned something if you want more videos like this subscribe to this channel I'm going to be doing how to do lots of YouTuber videos soon. I've also got a documentary about Codex I'm in the works on and really just tons of Vegas tutorials. That's what the majority of this channel is about. It's about video production and 
editing and Vegas Creative Software. So if you like Vegas Creative Software, you thought the software you saw today was interesting, give it a look. If you, anything you buy through my affiliates links helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.